Well, good afternoon. How is everyone today? Fine. Great. Thanks. What a beautiful yeah. coral reef. Oh Isn't gosh. this gorgeous? Yeah. This is one of my favorite tanks here. And as you said, it, it's a great view of a tropical coral reef. And you can see all the diversity with the fish and the giant clams and each of the different types of species of coral. Just an amazing snapshot of a, a tropical reef. Wow, how many different kinds of coral do you have in here? You know, that's a really good question. And I've, I've never gotten it before, for this is the first time. And I, I really don't know how many different types of coral are in here. I'd have to ask one of our aquarists. But you can kind of look with me and see that there are, you know, a lot of different types. So the number is probably well into the dozens, you know, maybe, I don't know, well over 25, I'm gonna guess. But I will have to ask our aquarists, if, you, if you're around later, I have a break in just a minute, and I know our Aquarius is behind scenes checking out some of the tanks. I might be able to answer that for you if you come back. That'd okay. be really interesting. Yeah. yeah right. Right. Great to know. Well, I'm looking at that giant purple one, thinking, you know, do they center? just grow really quickly, or is that super old? I mean, how long do corals live? You know, that's another great question. I can tell you that corals are slow growing. They don't grow really quickly like kelp forest might. So this coral is probably quite old, but I don't know the exact age. In fact, scientists are probably looking at that now when they go and do studies, but I'm not sure how they would check age, in fact, if they can break it off and look for like rings or if there's some indicator. Um, I'm not a, a coral scientist, so I would have to find out by looking online or checking with one of our aquarists. But that's a really interesting question. Um, but as I said, coral are slow-growing animals, so they, they don't grow overnight. How come they all look different? different shapes and everything. Why do you think they're just one shape? I think maybe just one would be the best shape. Yeah, they would find that ideal shape. Maybe. Well, there are lots of different types of coral, just like there's different types of orange trees or different types of, you know, fish in the ocean. There's different types of coral, and so they're different species, and so they grow just a little bit differently. But I don't know how many different types of species there are. There's hundreds of different types of species of coral, and they're found in a lot of the tropical areas. But you can even find corals in unusual places like deep sea. Mm -hmm. well, how, how do they eat if they don't have mouths? Good question. You don't see eyes and mouths on these types of corals. Well, they have a special little, um, in each of these coral heads right here, there's a little polyp, almost like a bowl, and inside that is the actual coral animal. Mm -hmm. And inside each of those coral animals is another type of animal, and that relationship is called symbiosis, and they help each other survive. And so that's what is going on, is that little kind of algae that's inside a coral bowl or polyp is helping to feed the coral. So just because you don't see a mouth doesn't mean that it isn't feeding. Mm -hmm. Oh, now looking at all these giant clams and all those incredible colors, they're all different, a little bit different. Yeah, colors. are they yeah. different species? Or yeah. what what's, what's the, the purpose? Colors? That's a great question. Color is really important in a lot of the animal world, both the ocean and the terrestrial. But I'm not sure what makes this coral tan and, and pink or this coral blue and purple. Again, I would probably have to ask one of our aquarists or potentially look it up online. But we do have a really neat program here at the aquarium. When we get a question that we're not able to answer, we'd like to ask our guests to fill it out on a comment card. And just around the corner is a stack of cards. And if you fill out that question of, you know, why the clams have different colors, we're able to give it to our scientists that study coral reefs, and they help provide us with the answers. So they'll give it to the interpreter so we know the answer for next time. And sometimes it's posted up online, so you might be able to check later with our website. Okay, great. Great. Right. Right. I'm so glad Thank that you'll you. do that for us today. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.